Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I think we're going to be doing a Sacred Union Energy update today. I'm um, not sure I felt the energy when I get like this. I know that I have to read, I know that I have to channel, that there's messages that are coming forth. I'm just feeling just like a, an energy fever, just feeling completely overwhelmed with energy. So let's see what actually comes out today. I took the week off, most of the week off. <laughs> I don't actually take any time off. Who am I kidding? But um, I did. I didn't get anything of what I wanted to get done, but I got what I needed to get done, which was um, some healing, which was um, just a little bit of a spiritual retreat for myself, some meditating, going deep within myself. Um, so it was what was necessary. And so that's that's sometimes that is what is necessary. So we are going to go into this and see what is going on with the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine in the Sacred Union. I am uh, going to be opening back up to readings next week, personal readings next week. So do make sure that you email me if you're interested in me tapping into your personal energy. Yeah, this is what I'm feeling. This is what I'm feeling. Divine Masculine with the Emperor here and the Hermit energy here. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna take a further look into that and see what messages are coming forth. <clears throat> I feel like I'm still getting um, a very massive upgrade. Um, that is also partially why uh, this little bit of a break this week was necessary for me, even though I didn't realize that at the time. Um, I have some uh, new gifts that are coming in um, and new energies that I am beginning to work with. Um, I call it mentorship, like an inner mentorship. Um, so. I, I don't know how well my channeling is going to be. Um, I have my lapis and my sodalite to help me communicate. So do bear with me as I am translating the messages that are coming forth. Um, what else? Zodiac readings. I did the zodiac readings for the month of May. Everything is up on the channel. I will put the playlist in the uh, description box below for you guys if you haven't already checked that out. Okay. So I'm a, my energy is a little bit drained. Um, so please do bear with me, but let's see that, that, let's, let's see what's going on. Spirit, what is going on for these sacred partners? What is it that you want us to know for these sacred partners? What is it that you want us to know? Well, I saw the Ace of Cups. I'm going to put it back because it flipped over with a bunch of cards, but there's the Ace of Cups there. So I do feel like there is a lot of love that is being experienced between counterparts at this time, whether this is energetic or this is in the physical. We have the two of pentacles. Spirit, what else? I'm actually um, hearing a message that this is coming in with regards to the Ace of Cups that showed itself. Um, because when this came out, what I heard was integration of energies. I usually don't like the um, Two of Pentacles because it has an energy usually of juggling. Um, and it, it sometimes has an immature energy, um, like a indecisive energy. I like this energy because it feels like it's really balancing out. And with that Ace of Cups energy, it feels like you're balancing out love love within and love without love for yourself and love for others and that's what it is all about it is all about the balance balancing within balancing for yourself balancing for your connection as well and what i'm also hearing is giving and receiving this feels like and take it as it resonates for you because it could be the masculine energy within you where you're integrating this but this feels like divine masculine energy is learning how to balance out the love for themselves, and the love that they are wanting to give to their divine feminine. So the more that they love themselves, the more they're feeling able to give that love to another. So it's like the more you fill up your cup, the more you have to offer. You can't pour from an empty cup. But the more you fill up that cup for yourself with, with your self-love, with source energy's love, God's love, the universe's love, being an infinite supply of love, just as you are infinitely loved, the more you're able to offer that love. But I'm hearing in a tangible way, in a very physical way, 
because the love that exists between these counterparts is always there. You see that infinity sign? You guys are two sides of the same coin. That is you. Divine feminine, divine masculine here. That is you in the equal flow of love. But that equal flow of love had been blocked because there was an imbalance here, because you weren't loving yourselves enough, so you didn't feel like you had enough to offer. Or for the Divine Feminines, to, to reverse that, um, Divine Feminines, it was still coming from kind of a lack of love for yourself, a lack of boundaries, a lack of feeling of, of worth or de what you're deserving of. So you were overextending, you were overgiving. But again, it's two sides of the same coin. It's all stemming from the same root cause. It's all stemming from the same root wound or trauma or pain. But you just express it differently. We talked a lot about this in um, Healing the Abandonment Wound. I'll put a link to that in the description box below if you um, missed that. We talked about that a lot in the past few readings where you guys are healing the same wound just from different angles. So for the Divine masculine it's coming from a place of they were blocking love blocking receiving love and blocking giving love because they didn't feel worthy of that love within themselves divine feminines you were over giving feeling like you needed to overcompensate because you didn't feel worthy of love you weren't giving yourself that love but this feels like it's a balancing out here so really really nice energy here let's see what else comes out Three of Wands. Yeah, I like this. Three of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. So it feels like because you're balancing this out within yourself, it's going to be balancing out with your connection. And with the Three of Wands, this is what you're looking forward to. This is right on the horizon. It's, you're right on the precipice. And we had actually channeled that for the Divine Masculine in one of the recent readings, um, one of the Sacred Union Energy updates. Uh, do you feel free to go back through the playlists? Um, all of my readings are meant to be timeless, so do check out the titles and see what you're called to. But um, in one of the recent Divine Masculine readings, we talked about them being on the precipice. That's what this energy feels like. And you're right there at the edge of reunion where it feels like you're both, because you're both putting in the effort and working on yourselves, focusing on yourselves and your own self-worth, your own healing, your own inner journey, your own soul growth, because you're doing that, here you have this reunion energy, this reconciliation energy, this coming back together energy. And you see how there are all these cups that are full, all these cups that are, are full of this growth, this blooming energy. And Divine Mashin is is handing their cup, where before they were blocked, handing their cup to Divine Feminine there. Male, female, doesn't matter. We're not talking about gender. We're talking about energy. But the representation of divine masculine and divine feminine here. And it's because both of you are doing the work. And if it doesn't look like your divine masculine is doing the work, that's where you have to go within and trust. And if you feel like you can't trust that, ask within yourself, where are you not feeling like you're doing the work? Where are you not feeling like you're trusting your divine masculine? You have to believe in your masculine like you believe in yourself, even if you can't see it. And just because you can't see it, that's the illusion. Remember that that's the illusion. <clears throat> you guys might be getting chakra upgrades, uh, throat chakra upgrades as well. Um, healing activations is what I'm he hearing because I'm having some throat chakra issues this morning. So there, there might be communication coming and some um, throat chakra stuff that's clearing out things something needs to be said is what I'm hearing something needs to be said that hasn't been said so I feel like there, there's going to be communication forthcoming for this group okay so that was a, a separate message but um, getting back to divine masculine again that's illusion and you have to trust what's in the heart and not what you're physically seeing you have to trust what you are feeling and divine masculine remember divine masculine they experience this journey differently Divine Feminine really experiences this journey from an inward standpoint. Divine Masculine really experiences this journey and clears karma from a physical standpoint, from an outside standpoint, from a, a physical 3D material world standpoint. Whereas you, Divine Feminine, you're doing a lot of the healing work, the energy work, the um, 
like meditations, things like that. It's it, A lot of it is inward. Your Divine Masculine, it doesn't look the same as you because they process things differently. We've been channeling that for the past six months to a year where they process things differently. They actually move through their karma and clear their karma, clear all that what I like to call soul sludge differently. They do so more from a physical standpoint um, where they experience it in order to clear it. Now you can shift that energy at any time. Your Divine Masculine, being a powerful, powerful being, just like you, Divine Feminine, you can shift that energy at any time, but they're learning through that very physical, tangible way. So even if it doesn't feel or, or look like they, oh, look, Ten of Cups and the Star there. Even if it doesn't look like they are <clears throat> clearing or healing in the same way as you are, it's because they're not doing it in the same way as you are, but that doesn't mean they're not doing it. They're putting in the work just as much as you are, and they are invested in this connection just as much as you are. Now, if there are behaviors in the 3D that don't align with your values or that where you need to set boundaries, that's where you they're showing you that you need to set boundaries. That's what's showing you, um, they're actually working on showing you where you need to hold stronger boundaries for yourself, Divine Feminine. Remember that you are always working together because you are always one. And at least energetically, the love is always there. The love is always there in the physical, even if it's not being shown. But pull the focus back to the energy of what you're feeling. Go within the heart space and, and what you're feeling within the heart space and not the illusion of the 3D egoic mind. Okay, because you are always working together as one, even if it doesn't look like it. Even if it um, doesn't seem like it, you are on this journey together, teaching each other, helping each other to grow, helping each other to heal through the unconditional love that you have for another, one another. And it's what I had channeled um, a couple of days ago in one of the readings. Just imagine, imagine loving one another so much that you have been working together and helping each other decided to come together to help each other to heal. Imagine loving each other so much that you would choose experiences together, whether it's separation or whether it's um, distance or whether it's even ghosting. That is all, even though it's not, it feels like it's not acceptable in the 3D, it's showing you something within yourself, whether it's to uphold boundaries, whether it's what you deserve or not deserve, whether it's what you want or don't want in a relationship, it's all showing you something about yourself. We have to learn to not focus on the 3D connection, but rather understand that this is a spiritual connection first and foremost, and to pull back, always pull back and look at things from the soul's perspective. That is what fifth dimensional consciousness is. It's being in this embodiment, having this human experience and understanding that we are having this physical human experience, but to not get so caught up in the illusion of the experience because we are also a spiritual being. So what we're doing is we're merging the human experience with being a spiritual master. And being a spiritual master means well, a master of ourselves, a master of our own consciousness means that at any given moment, we can pull back and see things from the soul's perspective, see things from source energy's perspective, see things from that higher perspective, however it is that you want to word it, where we are understanding the purpose beyond the illusion. We're seeing beyond the matrix. We're seeing the divine plan, the orchestration, the threads that interconnect everything. The lessons, the experiences, the growth, the love. We're pulling back and looking at it from that higher perspective. While having that human experience, it's that balance of the two. Again, we started out with the balance here. It's the balance of the two. Integration of those energies. I'm already feeling better. <laughs> I'm already feeling better. I knew I needed to channel something. <laughs> All right. Um, what else have we got for these sacred partner spirit? What else do you want us to know? What else do you want us to know for these sacred partners? Queen of Cups, the world. Let me get one more. I 
I'm hearing where you had your back turned to love. Now that's coming to an end. So you can start a brand new cycle in this love, in this showcase of emotion. Tell me what comes after the world here. What else do you need us to know? Clarify the uh, Nine of Swords, please. Clarify the Nine of Swords, please. What's this Nine of Swords about? Yeah, okay. That's coming to an end. Okay, good. That's healing. All right. Um, so... Queen of Cups, the world, Nine of Swords, clarified by the Four of Swords, and I further clarified that with these other cards here. So what we have here, like I was saying, where you once turned your back to love or held love in, now you're balancing out those emotions. And especially, there's investors coming forth with Divine Feminine, where you were over giving love because you felt that that's the only way that you were worthy. Now you're learning to balance out those emotions as well. So Divine Masculine is learning how to express themselves. And Divine Feminine is learning how to not overly give of themselves. That's the balancing out that's happening. And what's interesting is because it's happening between the two of you. So Divine Feminine, as you learn not to overextend yourself, not to go over give yourself. Now that's not saying not giving love. That's not saying you're holding love back. But you're not doing so from a distorted place where I have to give love in order for this person to love me back. I have to give to them financially or I have to give to them um, as in mothering them or I have to give to them as in um, gifts or I have to give to them my time. That's where you're upholding your boundaries and learning your boundaries. So you're still giving that love. You're still very nurturing. You're still very loving because you are that divine feminine energy. Um, but you're not giving from a place of in order to receive. You're giving because that's the nature of who you are. You're loving because that's the nature of who you are. You are naturally loving and nurturing. You're not giving from a place of if I don't give love to this person or show love to this person, then they're not going to love me back. That's the distorted view. So you're balancing that out. You're upholding your boundaries within yourself and within your connection. And not just within your connection, but, but everyone within your life. All relationships, you're learning how to do this. Because you're doing this, your divine masculine is healing the distorted feminine energy within themselves. Which is where they weren't able to express themselves. They were afraid to express themselves. Possibly stemming back from childhood where anytime they did try to express their emotions, they were criticized they were uh, abused, they were told to man up, if we're talking about males, uh, speaking of the patriarchy, for example, um, where they had to learn to suppress their emotions, to express their expression of self. Other people may have had expectations on them that didn't fit who they were or who they wanted to be, male or female here, didn't, ex didn't um, fit who they were, who they wanted to be, and so they learned to just hide that away and not communicate, to not express themselves, to not be authentically them. They wore a mask. And the mask is falling down now because they are getting in touch with their feminine energy within them. So Divine Feminine, you're healing your feminine energy. And as you're doing this, Divine Masculine is healing their feminine energy. And so you're balancing out those energies and learning how to communicate more and in a more vulnerable place and in a more intimate place because intimacy comes from communication. It comes from honest communication without the mass, openly, lovingly, and trusting one another. That's where intimacy really comes from, trusting one another with your expressions of self. And so that's what is happening here. Where you once both turned your back to love, 
for yourself for this connection that's coming to an end to start a brand new cycle here and what's starting what's coming in is you're healing the anxiety around this where this once kept you locked in this energy of fear where it shut down your throat chakra where it shut down your emotions where it shut down your feeling of safe to love and be loved and be open to love and be open to express yourself in that energy of love now you're healing this with that four of swords energy and the nine of nine of swords because this is being trapped in your own mind and you're healing that as well you're not overthinking this that's coming to an end with that ten of swords so that you can move forward in a more positive direction for this brand new beginning where what i like about this is the pay the, the wand feels like inspiration divine inspiration from a place of action so learning how to trust your intuition and lead from that place of intuition rather than this trapped feeling this fear within your mind so i really like this page of wands because this feels like a brand new beginning a brand new cycle for this connection and for you both it's really nice is there anything else we need to know Queen of Swords, yes, absolutely. Learning how to speak your truth. And what I really like about this Queen of Swords is this with the Queen of Cups is very high vibrational energy. A low vibrational Queen of Swords can be very cutting, um, very blunt, very um, not tactful with her words, can be unkind with her words, um, with her expression of self. It's I'm hearing my way or the highway. And this is very ego-based. The low vibrational queen of swords is very ego-based. Not getting what she wants, not hearing what she wants, immediately cutting people out. What I like about this queen of swords energy is it is very high vibrational where she is commanding. Um, commanding of herself, not commanding of other people, not controlling other people, but commanding of herself. She knows what she wants and she does so. She, she expresses that expresses her needs, expresses her wants from a place of, I'm hearing the word kindness. So she's kind with her words. She is um, expressive of herself. She knows who she is and she leads from that place of authenticity. The masks coming down. She speaks her truth because she knows her truth. She speaks her mind because she knows her mind. She speaks her heart because she knows her heart. Anything else we need to know? The Hierophant. Oh, and the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I was going to say that... Um, yeah, okay. I was going to say that the Hierophant lately has been my Ascension card, and I do believe that um, you... And your counterpart are both going through a new cycle of ascension here um, where you are truly ascending together now you have been walking your individual paths so to speak never apart you're always together energetically because you are one it's like the best way i've ever seen it said was in that national geographic clip that i've talked about on facebook and instagram um where and even in some readings i think i talked about it where um it's quantum entanglement where Science has discovered that when a blue photon splits, it splits into two red photons, but they are the same. They're still the same imprint. They're still the same blueprint, fingerprint, so to speak, so that when one changes and transforms, the other changes and transforms, no matter how far apart they are in the universe. They are the same energetically. That's this energy here. That's you guys. That's the sacred partnership. And so even though you guys were walking your individual paths for a while, what's happening now is you're coming together in a new level of ascension. And what this actually feels like with the four of wands on the bottom of the deck is you're getting out of this mental entrapment that made you feel like you were separate from each other. And what's happening is you're moving into a new level of commitment, stability, and security within this connection, within this relationship, and within yourself. Within yourself. And I like how it's two people they're celebrating because you are doing this together. You're doing this in harmony now. That is the new cycle of ascension that you are moving into. That is beautiful. All right, I'm going to get a card from this Angels, God, and Goddesses deck and see if there's anything additional that Spirit wants us to know at this time. And then we're going to close out and make it a shorter reading here. We'll be back next week with more collective updates. Um, 
Patreon subscribers uh, for the month of May. We're going to have some more extended readings. We're going to have um, some more pick-a-piles. I just posted another pick-a-pile for you guys yesterday. So you had one to end the month of April. And, uh, oh yeah, happy May, everybody. <laughs> happy May. Maybe that's why the energy feels a little bit later. And um, Patreon subscribers, we're also going to have a romance reading coming up for May as well. So stay tuned there. Um, and thank you for your community and support. If you do want to help support this channel and the work that I do here, I have a number of options available in the description box below. Um, not necessary, not ob no obligation. I love doing this work for you guys, um, but I am always, always grateful for this community and for your support. Whether it's comments, you guys sending emails, or um, you guys sending decks, or buying any of my products. Really appreciate it. All right. Spirit, what do you want us to know about this connection? What do you want us to know about this connection? Maybe where it's headed. What do you want us to know about this connection? angel of new life an exciting new chapter in your life is about to unfold and look at how she's coming out of the lotus flower the lotus flower grows in the mud you guys have been in the mud but look at that rebirth there look at her just standing up and just um there's full moon energy there and i think we have a full moon coming up so that's something that's interesting we'll we'll look a little deeper into that um it feels like there's some kind of shift that's going to happen with this full moon. Um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get any more information on that today. We're going to, I'm going to pull back from that today, but that's coming in. Um, they pointed that out to me. So there might be some important shift that's coming in. I think it's next week, the full moon, something like that. Um, but we'll do a reading on that and see what's going on here. But look at all this energy. Um, and again, the lotus flower here from the, the mud, from the muck, this beautiful flower grows and that's what this connection has been. It's been, you guys have been in the muck, you guys have been in the mud and now what's happening is those cycles are coming to a close because you're balancing out within you, you're integrating those energies and you've been working on yourself, working tirelessly on yourself is what I'm hearing. So be so proud. Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine should be so proud of how far you have come. Be so proud of how far you've come and the transformation that is taking place within you because like I always say, this is not an easy journey. You guys are the way showers. You guys are the pioneers. You guys are setting the blueprint and the template for everybody to come afterwards, leading by your example. Because of you, other people are going to understand how to ascend how to love unconditionally, how to love yourself unconditionally, and how to heal. Not because of the words that you say, although some of you will be teachers and communication will be important in that respect, but because of what you do, because of how you lead. You are light workers who are leading the way here. And your light is shining so bright because of the work that you have done. And you should be so very proud of yourselves. It has been a difficult, difficult journey, but you are here now and you should be so proud. So the end of that cycle is approaching. This is a new level of ascension that you are both being birthed into here. Beautiful. All right, you guys, that is going to be it. You know what? Let me get, let's just do this for fun to end because it's the weekend. Let's just get a message from your counterpart, shall we? So Divine Mashlin to Divine Feminine, Divine Feminine to Divine Mashlin. What do you want to say to each other? You're my greatest adventure. I'm awakening to what this love really means. Divine feminine to divine masculine. Hold on, it flipped onto the floor. <laughs> oh, 
I dream of kissing you. Uh, Divine Feminine has really been having some sacral chakra activations. I do feel like it's both parties. I do feel like Divine Feminine, you're picking up on some of that sacral chakra um, activity within your Divine Masculine. I do feel like your Divine Masculine has been feeling this as well. Um, and you're, you're dreaming of kissing each other. You're dreaming of that intimacy, emotional and physical. Um, very interesting. And I miss our friendship. Beautiful. I miss you. Beautiful, you guys. What a wonderful way to end the reading. All right, that's going to be it for today's update. We'll be back next week with some more. I'm sending you guys so much love, so much light, and we'll see you soon. Bye.